When asked to use the sponsorship of a Jetstar plane as the basis of a campaign for Lynx Mail body spray, the resulting multi-channel direct response campaign launched an airline that, sadly, never existed. Along the way, it created a storm of controversy and lifted sales to record highs. Lynx Jet fulfilled everyone's fantasy. Imagine a level of comfort never experienced before in air travel. With a range of in-flight entertainment options that are second to none. Our specially trained staff are here to serve you just the way you like it. And for our exclusive Mile High Club members, luxury that other airlines can only dream of. Introducing the future of air travel, LynxJet. The advertising delivered 658,000 unique visits to the website. And, like all good airline websites, you can access car and hotel partners. Like all good airlines, you could book online. Unfortunately, for some reason, the flights were always booked. Unlike other airline websites, you had most desses of the week. An international date line where you could receive pickup lines in foreign languages straight to your mobile phone. And you could also join the Lynx Jet Mile High Club, where far greater pleasures awaited you on and offline. Check out the in-flight entertainment. Saskia welcomed over 11,000 young men to the club. She even loved you so much she had her initials tattooed on her chest. On the street, Lynx Jet Mostesses flirted with guys in bars and airports of major cities in Australia, handing out their business cards and driving more traffic to the website and further involvement with guys who called and texted in huge numbers. Hi, you've reached Desiree. Sorry I missed you. Oh, baby. I really need to see you. Leave a message. I was just wondering what Lynx Jet is. Hi, fellas. My name's Nick. I've got your uh, Lynx Jet Mile High Club uh, card here. Hello? Hello? Hi, I was wondering when you guys are going to start flying. Give me a call back if you uh, would like to play. Hi, it's Josh. I um, had a great night last night. Can you call me? Towards the end of the campaign, a travelling roadshow, the Lynx Jet Mile High Club Lounge, gave those who were unfortunate enough to miss the real Lynx Jet in-flight service a taste of what all the fuss was about. With on-board massages and pictures taken with most S's, they could sign up to the Mile High Club and download photos of themselves from the net. Media coverage extended to major metropolitan newspapers and current affairs programs on television stations across Australia and New Zealand. So it's working, isn't it, for them? Well, I mean, I guess, and um, you tell me, Carl, but I'm guessing that the... Uh, Not for me, the, I, I said the, some of the other words, <clears throat> yeah. The commercial, which, by the way, is for a deodorant. The PR generated by the media attention helped the groundswell of interest in the campaign with almost half a million dollars of free publicity. They have decided to launch an airline. And, and <laughs> okay, it, as it's, you do. It's called Lynx Jet. Dozens of blog sites were dedicated to the airline both in Australia and around the world. Hundreds, if not thousands, discussed it. And then there were the sales. LynxJet lifted the Lynx brand to its highest ever share of male body spray, skyrocketing to 84.5% market share in just four weeks. The Jet variant, which the agency designed and created, became the biggest selling variant over the four week period of measure and the three-month X-Factory sales target was achieved in just six weeks. Far and away the most successful campaign ever for this category in Australia. <laughs>